This is chemistry 3325, organic chemistry 2. I'm Xiaoliu Qi, and you call me Dr. Qi. Uh, my office 205 Chemistry Building, phone number 2921, and the best way to contact me is by this email address. The objectives of this course are to give the students a rigorous understanding of the principle, reactions, mechanisms, nomenclature, physical and chemical properties, and the stereochemical facets of aromatic compounds, acyl halides, ethers, epoxide, alcohols, aldehyde, ketones, carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid derivatives, as well as interpretation of proton and NMR spectra. This course is for pre-medical students, chemistry majors, and chemical engineering majors. The textbook required for this class is Organic Chemistry by John McMurray. The most recent edition is 9th edition, but the 8th edition also works for this class. Students' solution manual for textbook is recommended. This class will mainly teaching through Blackboard, and my office hour is by appointment. If you want to talk to me, you should email to me first, and then we can talk over phone or through Blackboard Collaborate Archer. These are the materials we are going to cover in this class. Chapter 10, Organo Halides. Chapter 11, Reactions of Acyl Halides, Nucleophilic Substitution and Elimination. Combine these two chapters, we'll have the first exam. Chapter 13, Structure Determination, NMR Spectroscopy. Chapter 15, Benzene Aromaticity. These two combined together, we have a second exam. Chapter 16, Chemistry of Benzene, Electrophilic Aromatic Substitution. And Chapter 17, Alcohols and Phenols. These two chapters combined together, we have third exam. Chapter 18, Ethers. Chapter 19, Adiohyde and Ketones, Nucleophilic Addition Reactions. Combine Chapter 18, 19, we have fourth exam. And Chapter 20, Carboxylic Acid and Nitriles. Chapter 21, Carboxylic Acid Derivatives, Nucleophilic Acid Substitution Reactions. And Chapter 20, 21 combined together, we have fifth exam. Under the current situation, this class will be taught online. Most of the time, I will post pre-recorded videos of the lectures, and you should watch all the videos and read the textbook. In the videos, I will list the homework problems you should work on. You are not required to turn in the homeworks. However, without practicing, it is impossible to learn organic chemistry. And I suggest you to do all the homework in order to get a good grade. So watch my videos, read the textbook, take notes, do homework. Got the questions? Ask.